Good morning to all from the lovely region of the Dordogne in France. Today I thought we'd do a little portrait of my son Gregor. Um, so, just something else. Um, I say that we're mainly going to do landscapes, uh, plein air painting. Um, or Impressionism, but today I fancied to do just a little sketch of my son. So for that, I've put my easel near the computer screen. Computer screen is about one meter away from uh, the board here. I've got plenty of room to check for measurements. I will report on here. So we are going to paint, draw, draw paint. So it's a direct painting. I'm only going to worry really about the shadows. And we'll just block in the feature. No more for today. Just a simple uh, little exercise. And I'm going to walk you through. I know there is plenty of good, very, very good videos in, on um, on YouTube, but I thought maybe I can bring something, something different, something else, I don't know. Anyway, that's what we are going to do today. Um, so, for that, I'm going to put my coffee down and just explain what we've got so besides the image on the screen I've got a 12 by nine and a half inch it's just cardboard that I gessoed and put a little color of uh, burnt uh, umber it's dry and on the side I will have just one color which is burnt umber that's all we need for this little picture so it's really not going to cost a lot of money if you want to have a go um, to try this cardboard acid free has to be it costs a few pennies that does I mean, I buy the sheets, they are 180 by, uh, one, no, not 120 by 80 centimeters, uh, and I pay that 2 euro here in France, so I'm sure you'll find something similar. They're the, the cardboards that you frame, you frame the paintings with, it's one millimeter wide, it's fa absolutely fantastic. You can take that, it's very light, you can take it out, you can take many out, it's not going to weigh you down, it's really really good. And once it's uh, gessoed and uh, that you put your first coat on, you're okay to go, the paint will not sink in, you just paint like on canvas on it. And it lasts forever as well. So very good. Anyway, so on top of that we're going to have a few brushes so rounds flats filberts and an angled one so I've got these two because if you don't have an angled angled can be good to just well as as it says have the angle of the eye for instance so you've got the you know the right angle straight away but if you haven't got that a flat will do just as well. Alright, so that's why I have both. And that's it. Um, the two are, uh, I'm going to scrub with these because they are hog bristles and these are synthetics but very strong as well. I could, may as well just use that. Uh, they're all from Rosemary and Co. Um, which is in lovely Yorkshire and uh, 
they are the makers uh, or that brand, not, not brand, because it's rosemary, uh, for those who don't know, of course, for those who know, it's, you know, you know exactly what she does and uh, the, the excellent quality she produces. Um, but so rosemary, and this is the Shiraz, Shiraz Filbert. And these are Tishla, Tishla, the Tish by Rosemary, but anyway, it doesn't have to be the Tish. She, you, you can find the angle brushes in the chugging, chugging um, bristles or hog bristles or whatever. You, you find you find it in all sorts of bristles. Okay, other than that, no medium. Just take the paint as it is, very gently, and we draw uh, our little subject on there. Okay, I think that's it. So I'll explain along the road how personally I'm going about this painting. Uh, there is uh, no rules as such. If you feel like starting, I usually start and I will start with the eyes. Um, but if you want to start with something else, the nose, the mouth, feel free. If that's how you're more comfortable with. I like to have my eyes blocked in and then do all my walks from the eyes. All my measurements are then from the eyes. To do the rest of the measurements. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to have just a shot of this. The picture of my son will be next to this when we paint, so I'll, I'll concentrate on that so you can really um, see what's happening on the board. Let's go. Okay, welcome back. So I'm sitting an arm length of my um, painting board there, for my board. So to have really a good view, I will get forward to take measurements, okay, because I want a um, a spot that remains the same every time I measure. So I will lean forward to put my wrist just against here and to take measurements of my subject. Okay, so I quickly quickly going to so the inside of my face will be about the width of my fingers here. So if I take that here and here, that will be I have to add the hair though, so we'll go down a little bit. I'm going to go here, start here. be my chin that be my forehead up to the to that hair who comes right down like this so if that is my center ish then my hairline would be at the high middle point here so like this so that be the angle of my hairline okay Let's put a bit of paint on that. So that'd be the angle of my hairline. There we go. So now, down here, start with the eyes about here. Okay, so now we start to block in. And as I said, I like to start with the eyes. So, without any, I'm just 
always bring to late the anger that I see of my eyes. Which is roughly this. And then drawing my eye. Please don't worry, uh, there is some moments that I will fast forward so you don't have to listen to every little bit I'm uh, murmuring here. Uh, so we just keep the most important things and the others will be in a fast motion. And I want to remain thin. just checking the angle so I don't have to be uh, too much in front there okay so there's moments we oh I'm going to fast forward a little bit just say yeah. that try um, to keep up with me so here just my general measurement so if my head starts here to here how many times is that in there? So here. Oh, it's nearly. That's half. So start again. So I mean, inside of the eye, I'm on his chin. So his chin inside of the eye. So it comes here. So this bit can seem boring, but it is the most important bit to start with that drawing. Uh, so I'm sorry, I'm going to keep uh, all these details in and, um, well, sorry about that, but it's for your own good. Of course, for those who are experienced in portrait painting or uh, drawing, you can fast forward this bit or uh, quit the video altogether as this is aimed more for beginners intermediate painters angle here now we have the side so if I do a plumb line from the side of the eye goes straight on the chin so a plumb line is here side of the eye my chin let's change brush I'm going to take a bit smaller brush filbert so my side so let's do that again so my plumb line goes down there from the side of my uh, ah, yeah, nose, and it comes to check on the other side, just in front. So that's it. So this is the. Okay, so this 
side of my mouth is one. So if I go down there straight, I've got the side of my mouth mouth here. side of my mouth and then from the mouth to here there is not a lot okay then here we have Okay, so here the angle cuts in. Angle of the nose. So there. joining the corner here. Okay, so far, so good. in a minute okay so come back to come back to the eyes so here now I've got this corner there and then it goes out angles this way yeah so, so far so good okay now we are going to go to the other side And my shadow shape goes up, goes up on the bridge of the nose like this. Goes up. You have to squint your eyes all the time, all the way, and it goes in. So, now we measure. I have the width of my eye go over, that's the width of the nose, the start of the other eye. Just like we learn in school, there should be about three widths until we have, so, one, two, three, until we have just the corner. So, one, two, the second eye is starting, three is just the 
pupil corner. And the eye carries on a bit more pointy. But here is my should lay my pupil. So one, two, corner of my nose. I mean inside corner of my nose with the start of my eye. That's what I mean. Okay, so now we're going to do some walking. So I am, my eye is here. There is my eye. I'm walking over the nose. I'm following the form of the nose. So I'm walking over. There is my shadow shape. Starting here. There we join here. Okay, so that's my shadow shape. Starting here. So we can block this in. figure out so bridge of the nose shadow go I have to squint all the time I can't really see the corner but it appears to be about here so Corner of my eye. Walk over, down. Excuse me, the level of my other eye. Get in, and that here should be. Let's do it with with this one. Right here should be the corner. My tear dot. It's difficult to see from here, but it could be. So this is my eye here. It's dark on this, on this side. It goes. First eye, cross over, cross over the bridge, find the shadow, go over the shadow, come back up, find the tid. I believe it's here. So from here, I've got white and a slight tilt here, slight tilt, so Stick with that for a second. And just carry on to do the rest of the show. So it's a straight line. Line. 
and all that is in the channel, everything. Don't want too much colour. So, this shape now goes down here, often that um, squared off angle, so my eyes here, very dark. Especially in here. Okay, so squared off, and then it rounds it off a little bit to follow the shape of the nose. Goes down. So the touches are very light, yeah. So now, where does my nose, or the wing, let's say the wing of the nose here, where does it come to? So I take my plumb line from the corner of my eye, which usually that is where the wing of the nose starts. So he's come slightly out a bit more. So I take the corner, so this is, this is my plumb line, okay, here, from the corner of my eye. So I know that the wing of the nose will be coming here somewhere. Now where does it come? Like here. So if I, again, my plumb line from the eye, the other side, so from the top of my eye, it comes about from here. That is where the tip, roughly, needs to be a plumb line. Yeah, that is roughly where the tip of my nose comes. Here, roughly here. So, now. So if you want to take something off, you can, you have two options. One is you take a paper towel and you do like a little point. Then you just come here and wipe things off. Or you take a brush, a clean brush, and I'll show you here. And you would take it off with a clean brush there. Like this, okay? Okay, so. If, so, my top of that to the bottom of the nose, of the, is here. 
seems to be right in the middle. So if I go from top of my bridge to the bottom of the nose, bottom of the nose to my chin, I got half. So this will have to be cut in half, roughly. So if I go from here to here, and I go half way, should be about here. So let's take that chin here. One, two, a bit too high. One, two. So I have to lower one, two. I have to lower the nose a little bit. Okay, a little bit. So now, from the bottom of the shadow of my nose to the top, yes, is this. So from here to the bottom is this. Okay. So this is where the bottom of my shadow, so. This is where the nose comes. So now, now that we've got this, we know that my nose comes out, when my shadow comes out here. So I have this going up. This going up. And my shadow about to here and my pen go down. So here it goes down and it goes up. Okay. So, if we follow this around here, and then this, and then a bit more, okay. here needs to come in a little bit here. Okay. So now we'll have a shadow here. darker than a little darker than this and that is following the muzzle the rounded of the muzzle so you have to bear in mind also, the the three D form that you want to build on the picture. Yes. Okay. So now, 
I've got this cheek here. It's a bit low, so let's raise it up a little bit. Let's come straight to the tip of the nose here. Um, so I've got the shape anyway. So now we go across. That's the inside of my nose. So I'll go a bit further and here. I'm going to find that rounded bit of the cheek. So go across and about here I can just do this for now. Because my cheek here somewhere will be around it a little bit. So let's do, let's carry on on the nose. So I'm on the tip here and then it goes down and forms the wing. goes down and forms the wing of the nostril which comes around here. It's a nice, um, just a nice round shape there. Yeah, see? Then we have that square which is just from here we go down see this little square here so we go on the edge here we go down and then we find the other shape see find the other shape and go down and that's it and now we have our shadow change brush Use the brushes that are comfortable for you. Now we go down here. Okay. So now we've got the shadow of the side of my nose. There we go. Yeah, here. And now it goes, it turns a little bit. So that width comes back here, so it turns down a little bit. And all this is in sh all this is in shadow. Nearly touching here. As a matter of fact, it just goes like this. Okay, so there we have that shadow coming down here. Uh, we'll see with the half shadows later. Now the pupil of his eye comes here, here, round it to do this, which kind of go with the bottom of the nose. So that for now is all one, all one shadow for now. Keep it thin. This needs to come a bit further down. Uh, so come here. Here will be. Here we go, like this. That 
that's it. And like that. Okay. And all this side here will be in shadow. We are going to come back to just double check this, but I can already just put all this in shadow here. Okay, so now we're about to discover constantly squint, that's in shadow, all that is in shadow, let's put a little bit more texture on that, all that is in shadow, I don't push it too hard because there is a bit of a lighter shadow, but we still can just so let's figure out before we carry on here let's figure out where our ear is going to come and so we can just finish that shape here okay so if I measure from that side of the light comes at the corner of my eye so I have to round this off more there we go for now that's how it goes and this is here at right angle here I've got the beard etc so you still with me nothing too difficult here is there so I will just for the sake of this here needs to come right away. This needs to be lighter. I will darken it or lighten here, one or the other. Or I will darken that is darker. So it's dark, but not as dark as, as the eye. Let's leave it like that just for a second. This has to go in a bit more. Okay. So let's go back to got the nose. The nose goes down here, nice shadow here. Nice shadow here of the nose, uh, and then right here it goes down. So check the plumb line for where that shadow goes down, and it goes down right in the middle of here. So I uh, went a bit too far. I think that the easiest way here would be to use the brush.
There we go. So, let's go back to it. So, I take a plumb line here, from the middle here, and I know I will come down here. There we go. Now we write. So I'm coming down here and then I have a change of angle on there. So again. I have a change of angle here. And then all this there in shadow. There we go. the wing that needs to come down but it is in a it comes down but in a different um, if I just put a little bit of color here because it's a half shadow so we don't want too much it's just gonna look a touch better like this too strong. Because then that we have the mouse. The mouth. Bottom of the bottom of the um, nose. Bottom of the nose equals So, it's about here, there we go. Okay, let's figure out where the mouth is. Well, figure out. If I squint, I don't see much. Actually, this whole shadow goes all the way down here. Let's go that in. angle here and all that is in shadow Okay, where does it turn? So, this shadow is so the bottom of my chin, the bottom of my nose, so So from here, here, this line here, to here is this distance. So you could use, sometimes it's easier, instead of using a brush, let me show you, I'll go and get it. I've got a knitting, knitting needle, any, any straight stick would do but it's sometimes easier to measure so from the bottom of my nose to the top here the top to the bottom here so here is the bottom of my chin ok 
Okay. So, now I know where the bottom of my chain is. I can come to it with this. There we go, because that's the beard. I can come to it. Here we go. And I can have the angle. So it's square here. Can't really see because it, it disappears with the jumper and everything else when you squint your eyes, yeah? It's important to squint your eyes. Now, we set the mouth in, which is, so, if I go down this, when I go down here, my mouth will sit here. So, let's walk again. Go down here, go to an angle, Same distance as that, so we stop about here. Then we have the top light of the lip here, and the darker part of the lip here, with the lower lip and shadow. Well, let's just ghost all that lipping. Uh, so here to here, and that's when we have that change with the lip. lip goes the form the side and then this and this that's it and then that link comes in line with the nose here yeah, so here, and then the shadow of the beard carries down there. I mean, the beard or the shadow, yes, carries down there, and this carries on here. There we go. So, this is darker. Let's do it darker. Up. This beard there is darker, shadow. So it comes to this. And just this edge is darker. And this edge will be darker. So go down with the shadow. The shadow follows through here. comes around. So all here. So this is the shadow of the bottom lip here. Oh, anyway, there is a shadow stronger than of it here. And this is the beard, as we said. So have this shadow coming all the way to this lip here.
clip and he's having a little smoke so this side goes a little bit up like this here we go um, yeah, it comes right down this eye here. that's it here we go here This will be faded in with his beard again. Here, here. And we'll have to have a little texture here. Okay. Okay. And then his beard's going to go up there. And down here. So that's his smoke, that's the beard coming down. There we go. Shadows. That's already the dark. this is in the light open so let's do this again walk over the forms that needs to come in a touch here it like this and then the shadow of the bottom lip there there's a light shadow here it goes in this lip here I'm just going to do this. Here we go. So the shadow goes down a little bit more here. There we go. And 
Okay, that's better. And then here it goes down a bit more, a bit stronger like this. And here. Okay, and there it's very dark. There you go. Shadow and up. Okay, so now we will figure out so this. Then this we walk up from the shadow just across here. This angle is a bit less. So from the eye here, <coughs> to here, I have to match this a little bit. So you always want to be you always want to be symmetric as much as you can with with both sides of the feature. For instance, here, that shadow, let's wipe my brush. For instance, here, that shadow here. I don't want something about here. So that shadow here needs to match with the shadow over there. And that shadow starts really at the tip of my nose here. And comes out here. There we go. So I need to come in this way though. take a drum line from the side of my nose and come over here from the side of my nose come over here so I need to get this out a little bit more that's better see always check with the plumb line um, I can't see the Uh, the 
edge of my nose here. However, I'm going to just from that shadow. There is a small tone, difference in tone on this side. So the light of my nose <coughs> would determine uh, the side of it. Because that's, that's lighter than here. But how to show it without destroying Put a touch of um, of a value here. It's too strong here. So a touch. So now, with a cotton bud, with a cotton bud, I will just clean this edge here. That is enough to show that nose. So now, let's go to the hair quickly. Or let's go, let's figure out the side of this. So, from bottom of the chin to the ridge of my eyebrows from the side of my cheek to we come to the ear so from the bottom of my chin to the ridge here of the eyebrows that shows us here where my ear comes. So all this can be for now I do not have that but can be in shadow. See the angle, which is like that, yes. When does that break? So, again, if I take under my nose, so on top of that nose is the top of my ear. And that is when that's the top of my ear, then it goes down from here, goes down straight. Yeah. And then the angle breaks. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah. we're going up there so now figure out if that's correct the corner of my eye will be here got that much shadow here That's about right. So here it's a clear section. Then we have the ear. Who goes out there? Comes up. Comes up. And the top of my ear is on the top of my eyebrow here. So the top of my ear is here. I have an angle there. 
drawings back down this way. There we go, that's clear. That's a big shadow. just to block it in that'll be fine and then my hair is coming back from here back of my head I'm just gonna double check this as well so here to here so bottom of my chin to the top of my eyebrow here and then I check it with this side of my head that's fine so here and here side of my head my Okay, so let's figure out how how high it is from just under, just under. So here from the side to here, from so the, to here we're just under, so we should be the head should be finishing about here so this is this side of the head and we have some hair so this comes straight there Have a little bit more so the arm went so that means that my hour is up so I should stop here now So what's going to happen from here on then is that I'm going to fast forward and uh, um, the, 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 ma the main features are there uh, for the measurements, for everything. The rest is just a bit of um, filling out. So by fasting forward you still will get the main uh, stuff that you have to put down. I will stop uh, when we have uh, some... Uh, uh, main comments uh, so you can follow and understand and uh, yeah let's go from there To finish this drawing, well, I'm going, I'm calling this, it is a drawing, we are just going to go over the features one more time. So, start here, and then there is a bend in the neck.
Okay, so now, quickly, one more time, go over the feature there. That goes in a little bit more. A little bit, I see. Not So, here, walk over, go down, find the tear duct here, get up, and find the eye here. Okay, now from here, that eyebrow here, Walk up here, make a small jump, the hair starts here.
shadow now can be put in a little stronger. to his upper lip there. Okay, this time I stop there. I've got all the information I need to all the information I need to come back and get some color on top of that. Okay. So I say yes just to just to, to uh make it a little bit interesting we're just going to put um, something around quickly. Okay, we're going to put um, something like a dirty green, blue-green, just to, so darker this side, so this is lighter, so here we go. Let's do a darker dirty green this side. just like this and then here we are going to go a little lighter Here we have the edge disappearing. We can clearly see it when we squint. There we go. And there it is reappearing. And um, that's about it. It's just here that the edge is disappearing. Okay, so that's it. That's it for now. So we've got the drawing in. We've got the drawing in. To get in a bit more here. There we go. We've got the drawing in.
here the edge is a bit disappearing with um, the side here okay so anyway drawings in uh, and uh, so I would let this dry and come back with colour to finish the painting. So we may do that and then we may not because I will let you decide. Put me a comment underneath. Let me know if you want me to carry on this painting, put some colour on, on it and um, and I'll I'll do it. So this is how I'm going about a blocking in of a portrait. If uh, that is something that you would like to see again, leave me a comment. We even maybe finish this painting if you uh, if that's something that you want to see. We finish this painting uh, another time. But for today, I just wanted to show you how you could block in. Uh, a painting in an easy way in uh, just focusing on the shadows and uh, this will give you a good start for the second layer and so forth. I hope to see you soon in my next video and in the meantime I wish you a happy painting.